Well, hello there, and welcome back to another Monument of Aldrea video. Last time, um, no progress in terms of Emerald Block, but we did do a lot of exploration. Um, in terms of, we found a new area, and, um, we found a lot more stuff than just a new area. So there's an underwater area, and then we found saplings. So yes, I've been farming trees off camera, so we got good wood. And yeah, so also that new area um is pretty far away. And so I tried to make a minecart track to it off camera. Uh sorry about that. I had something uh something come up. Um but yeah, I had something off um what was I trying to say? Yeah, so something happened off camera, so that's why I left. But um something that happened was we found a new area, right? And I was trying to make a minecart track to it. Uh, dude, I, I couldn't. Like, I, I tried. Um, like, I tried so many different ways to try to build a minecart track to the new area. And, like, I literally even died. Guys, see? I fell from a higher place. I died. So, there you go. The death count is 2-5. Um, I actually did not lose any levels, if you see down here. So, yeah, it's because, like, when you die, you have cube inventory on. So, I technically didn't lose any levels. Um... But like still, I died. Um, so it's hard to. Why's my cursor there? Okay, yeah. It's hard to prove that I don't die off camera because I forgot that you keep your levels. But here's proof. Here's proof that I died off camera. So there you go. I don't want to hide it. Um, but yeah, I was trying to map up coordinates to like try to figure out um, what the. Uh, how to get to the next area. Or how to make a minecart track. And I just couldn't do it. It was just too difficult. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I canned that idea. Um, also, the reason why I, uh, you know, this place out here is still relevant is, um, yeah, I have a chicken farm. Yep. Pretty, uh, I just jump in here and uh, my inventory just gets filled with eggs. Then I just run around and just do this for like, I get two minutes because there's so many chickens in here. Um, but anyways. Enough of, enough of that. Um, last episode, we also found enough diamonds to make an enchanting table. And so, I went ahead and made an enchanting table. And then we also found bookshelves in, like, that village where we, where we got wood. So, not only do I have a bookshelf, but, um, an enchanting table, but I also have bookshelves. So, we can do level 30 enchantments. So, we can do f uh, four level 30 enchantments here. Obviously, um, we should do a sword, a bow, the pickaxe. And then one more, um, we can uh, we can do anything we want with. So well, let's go ahead and do that now. Oh, I, have, I made a grindstone so that we can remove some enchantments from our weapons. And so yes, let's see what enchantments there are to do. Forgot to get some lapis. All right, let's see what I haven't checked. So these are gonna be new for me too. Knockback, terrible. Efficient. Honestly, we kind of want fortune. Because fortune, we can fortune diamonds and we can fortune iron. And that would be really good for us. Um, but efficiency is fine. Punch to fire aspect too. Honestly, let's just go with the pickaxe. I want efficiency unbreaking and fortune. If we don't get fortune, it's okay. That's it. Only efficiency four. That's kind of nasty. Power four, power four. Sweeping edge. Sweeping edge is good, but we do want sharpness, so... I'm just gonna go with the bow punch. One is fine. Sharpness three, are you kidding me? Unbreaking three. We don't really need unbreaking because of the CTM map. Sharpness. Unbreaking, these are really bad. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna go with the unbreaking three here. That's it, only unbreaking, we need sharpness. Oh my gosh. This has, I should've just took the sharpness three. All right, let's just hope there's sharpness here. Okay, okay, sharpness four, sweeping edge three, not back two. Not back two is kind of troll if you're fighting creepers. Um, it could also be good. Well, it's tr I'm sorry, it's, it's troll if you're fighting. Um, not back three is troll if you're fighting creep uh, skeletons because you knock the skeletons back, but I do have a bow for that, so I guess it's okay. Um, 
we do have keep your inventory on, so like I, it's okay if I keep all my iron on me. Um, respiration on this helmet. Honestly, this helmet has projectile breaking too. We should put unbreaking two on as well. Respiration thirty and unbreaking. Yeah, we're just gonna make this the super helmet. Um, then I'll repair this whenever uh, I can, obviously. And so yeah, we are good to go. Um, our goal, as you saw, I I have bought all my water breathing potions because we are going to tackle that uh water dungeon. Try to finish it out in today. There's an enderman on my bridge. Try to finish out. Oh, it's not on my bridge. Um, try to finish out the water dungeon today. Um, in twenty four minutes, can I do it? Do I have enough mass? Oh, we should do that. Kind of want our shield equipped. But yeah, we're looking, we're looking good. If the pickaxe was kind of sad, um, but everything else, I I also extended this. Um. So yes, I really tried to make a railway because this way is the direction of the monument. And so I tried to mine this way to see if I can like get there. But then they put bedrock here. And then I tried to mine up. And then there was also bedrock up there. And so like I can't make a minecart track to that village area. I really tried guys. I really tried. Um, in addition, I also made a bubble column to go up. So here's the bubble column that I made. It actually took a while because it's really far. Um, but yeah, there's the bubble column that goes up. We might travel up it the end of this video if we collect the emerald block in this dungeon, which I'm, gu I'm guessing there's an emerald block in this dungeon. I also made this pathway. We do have respiration three. So yeah, anyways, let's just go here. Um. Yes, we have dolphins grace because there's some dolphins that spawn there. Um, but we do want to go ahead and um, try to get, make our way to the dungeon. Um, oh, I forgot to bring food. Okay, this is actually kind of bad. I actually kind of want to go back. Okay, it's fine. Because I did actually want to try um, doing some cuts in this video. Like, I want to try trimming it. Um, again, my, my audio has been pretty good in terms of, like... Um, figuring out the internal external audio but like i also want to try like cutting these videos because of the way how i have it set up is that it's kind of hard to um edit videos because i'm using the quicktime player software again to like to clip in my videos in the audio but i haven't really tried cutting stuff out um so we'll see maybe i can cut this stuff out and come back with chicken but let's see the water elevator first you see how long this takes it's like a hundred and like forty blocks. Yeah, it's it's not quick at all, guys. I thought it would be like five seconds. It's like, you know, I'm still talking. But anyways, I'll meet you back when I have a stack of food, which means I have a stack of chicken. All right, so it's nighttime. So, um, I'm afraid that there might be drowns around here. 
you know, because yeah. drowns spawn. So yeah. hopefully there are no drowns. Um, but yes, indeed, we have we have this dungeon. I actually don't know how I want to enter it. And there might even be guardian spawners. So I guess we'll just enter in the front door. And if it's too hard to like do stuff, then we'll go ahead and we'll 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 mine in a side. Oh there are guardian spawners. Nice, okay. Um this is where knockback sucks because I don't have knockback. Or this knockback is just gonna really be annoying. There's the spawner right here. Go efficiency five pickaxe. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, we can't use bows down here because arrows just kind of flop. So let's see. If, yeah, there's another spawner over here. Let's go toward it. All right, there goes two spawners. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Um, oh, these guardians. Part of me is like, do I want to kill them or do I just want to avoid them? Because if I avoid them, then like, to try to go for the spawners. Like, I don't know exactly what I should be doing here. Because like, um, yeah, it's not too difficult. Um, you know, I can like avoid them, especially if I have this dolphin's grace. But if I can kill them, I'll kill them. Yeah, but, you know. Seems like I don't need to, um, see pickles. Interesting. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like I actually need to, like, go ahead and... Alright, that's good. I don't have aqua affinity, so... Oh, these guys' thorns just, like, super annoying. Oh my gosh, I can't track them. There we go. Um... I don't know if there's any spawners in this middle area. But I don't see anything. There's guardians. Okay. Just keep swimming. Ow. Oh, I'm out of food. Oh, we're not healing. Okay. There's an area up here. Okay. I, there's a lot of guardians. I should probably take care of them. Unless they're coming from above here. Uh, these magma blocks. Okay. Okay, let's try to, yep. There's a lot of pillars, which is nice because we can kind of like, um, dodge them, you know? But, uh, let's, let's make a hole up here, maybe. Okay, we're in the next area. Um, what the heck is this? These spawners, oh, my game is lagging. <gasps> this is emerald block, that's emerald block right there. Easy, guys. E okay, where are the spawners? I'm trying to, okay, there's a spawner right there. Kind of want to go above it, because these magma blocks are going to be annoying. Don't know what spawner that was, but it's taken care of. There are more spawners over here, okay. Just want to come in, break all the spawners. Okay. There's some guardians. We'll just, uh... Ooh, they do a lot of damage, that's a problem. Okay. So we should heal up here, try to get full health, and then we'll um We'll try to kill them and then we'll get the emerald block and we'll get out of here. Because there doesn't seem to be that many chests in here. Okay, let's go. Um Yeah, it doesn't seem to be that honestly they're like kind of just chilling. I forgot. Oh, okay, guys, please stop it. Stop it. Oh my goodness. There's also a chest there. I didn't even look at this chest. Okay, let's see. I see a trident. I'm not even gonna look at it yet because vulnerable. Trident. Impaling three. Guppy. All right, let's try it. I honestly never use tridents. Because I don't have, I usually, so I haven't really played the fishing update that much. Wait. Oh, it doesn't have loyalty to it. Where's my trident? Oh, there it is. Can I like shield its hits? 
Okay, this is actually getting bad. I... I guess there's no point in killing them. Yeah, no loyalty is kind of terrible. Can you please not? Oh, knockback kind of like resets their moves. Okay. I just need to try to get this and I'm out of here. Honestly, I don't even care. Just chest that I'm missing. I just want to get this and I'm gone. I'm gone. Is there anything above here? I only went two levels. Is that it? So we can do a little bit of more. Okay, the soul sand that makes you go up. So this is the level. I think that's it. Right? Because this is the level I entered and then this is the level. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like that's it. You know what? I'm over this. This is so annoying. I hate underwater stuff. And, um, yeah. Well, I guess that's it. There wasn't really much to that dungeon. 100% honest with you. But, um, I'm honestly okay with that. Because, um, yeah, underwater stuff is kind of hard. So, yes. I guess we will return to the emerald, to the monument. Place this block. And then we will, honestly, let's just explore more. Let's just keep on exploring. So yeah. I will return when I'm at the monument. So I would rather fast forward that, you know, me traveling. I'd rather, cause I did this with isolation. I usually fast forward it instead of just like skipping it just to kind of show like, you know, and then just teleport there. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know if I have the, the capability of being able to like fast forward it. Again, I don't know if my software has, will allow that. Um, but yeah, anyways, yes, we got the, the next block, and uh, I guess now we go back. Yeah, I mean, what else is there to do than just go back? So yes, I know that was kind of, oh yeah, by the way, that's count five. But yeah, I'll just, I'll just go back now, then we'll, um, you know, I'll meet you on the surface of the water, I suppose. But yeah, if I can try to fast forward, this I would try to, like these little parts. If I can try to fast forward them, I can, but I don't know if I can. So I'll try to uh, trim them, like cut them out. So yeah, we'll see what uh, what I can do here.
so I'm at the surface here and um yeah this was again me trying to um is that a B oh, okay there's a B right there um but yeah I was on I was um you know I was traveling here and uh, I was thinking like um that trident that we got I so again I don't know the enchantments of tridents I just know that um I just know that there are like you know piercing is an enchantment that then um impaling and loyalty there also might be more chests in the water area but honestly I don't care enough to get those chests in the water area but like there's a lot of chests or I'm sorry there's a lot of enchantments for tridents uh, like the ones I just mentioned and um piercing is like probably the worst one because piercing goes through enemies but usually going through enemies is like not that good you know what i'm saying like it's not that good so i might go ahead and, and take that trident and if i'm able to i can probably like grindstone it grindstone it and then i can go ahead and um after grindstoning it i can go ahead and uh make an enchantment again i think loyalty is probably the best thing simply because like if i have a loyalty trident then i might not even need to use a bow you know what i'm saying um, but then again, I don't know how to repair it, so I would need mending as well. Because I don't think bows, I don't think tridents can be repaired very easily. So I would also need like, um, I'll also go ahead and need a, uh, ooh, oh, this guy's already gold. I don't understand. Oh, okay. You're dead. Um, I guess we should go through all these villages, right? We should go through all of them. Nothing good. Unbreaking one shield is decent. Okay, well, you're dead. <laughs> um, I'm trying to block them off. But I guess this is daytime. Like, I guess I, I should do that. I should be doing that. Wow. Wow, that's a, that's a very nice deal. There's an ender chest here. Some food. Oh, there's some smokers here, too. Oh, it's getting nighttime. We can go ahead and sleep here. I just need to remember that I set my spawn here. So if I die, this is where I'll show up. So a gap in that chest. I don't think we really need something like that at the current moment. Uh, we'll just explore the village here. Because there could be like an emerald block in one of these um, places. And if there is, then uh, we need to definitely uh, pay attention to that. Um, I don't think I've explored this place yet, or have I? Maybe I have. Um, my game is super laggy in this area, simply because, like, there's so much being loaded. Um, the game is, like, super laggy here. Um, fish. 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 Alright. Guys, do you think that there is another thing in the middle here? Nope, nothing. Alright. Well, I tried. Don't leave. There's like a there's like a uh, a villager for every like um every job. Oh my gosh! Do you think that there's a brewing stand here? Like a brewing stand villager? If there's a brewing stand villager, it would be here. Um, because if we get a brewing stand with nether wart, another huge uh, boost in our um capabilities here. Torches, we take torches. I love torches. Now that we have wood, we have infinite torches, essentially, because we have infinite coal and infinite wood. And so, yeah, I'm gonna spam torches. We couldn't spam torches in that other area simply because um it was underwater. But like now that um I can spam torches, I will spam torches. I will spam torches. Hopefully I'm also not missing any places here. That's actually not a bad deal. You're doubling your arrows. Um, I just noticed there's no emerald deals, huh? These are all custom villagers. So those villagers that like left the house are like dead. Um, I wonder if like if you trade with them, they unlock more trades. Wow. Holy crap. Two iron plus wheat for that much pork chop? This dude's actually really good. Okay. I'm actually, uh, cause I have infinite, um, I mean, 
look at this. But I have infinite uh, wheat from um, skeleton farm. Because I uh, skeleton farm, you get infinite bone meal, which means you have infinite wheat. Um, you know. So, yep. Alright, let's, uh... I think I've explored all the houses. Oh, what the heck is this? Insidious Decidious. Alright. Now, there's two ways of doing this. We go to path that is laid out for us. And probably encounter... Spawners. Oh my gosh, it's not bad. It's troll, isn't it? Yeah, we can go the way that they want us to go, right? You know, there's nothing wrong with going the way they want us to go. Or we can avoid that way and go the way we want to go. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyway, so we go the way we want to go. Um, there seems like there's a, a diamond tree. What I'm going to call it a diamond tree. Uh, ooh. Oh, there's cows. So we have, um, we can get infinite, uh, what's it called? If we find, I mean, we just need one cow because I can share the mushroom cow because I don't really care about, um, mushroom stew. But, uh, yeah, we can, uh, we can get infinite, um, leather and food. But honestly, I'd rather just farm wheat because wheat into pork chop. With two iron, it's really good. Why does that guy have enchantments on him? Oh, maybe it's from this. The beehive. <laughs> Let's check out the beehive. Oh, I wonder what kind of spawners. Oh my gosh, there's so many bees. My game is going to lag the crap. All right. See, the enemy. See, the game developer, the map developer is really smart here. Because the enemy is not mobs, it's the bees spawning and killing my frame rates. That, that's the real, um, that's the real, uh, <laughs> the real enemy here. Oh my gosh, I can't even jump up these blocks. Because it's, it's, oh my gosh. And there's, a bunch of things are spawning while we speak. Oh my gosh, this is troll. <laughs> I kind of like it though. <laughs> um... But yeah, obviously, uh, let's try to make our way to these spawn. Oh, these bees, dude, what is going on? Oh, these blocks, honey blocks. Is honey, is honey useful? Max out saturation? Yep, honey, I can max out saturation, but right now I just kind of want to break these spawners. There's a spawner here, right? Yep. Um, my game is, my game is totally not lagging right now. We are totally doing... Okay. Oh, I got myself in a sticky situation. Uh, place a block there. Place a block here. Okay. Oh, I have lava. Let's do some uh, lava action. Let's just place it there, you know, for the time being. Um, Get rid of this. Are there any more spawners above? There's a spawner in there and a spawner right there. What is that skeleton? There's like two, there's like two spawners over there. Oh my gosh, so I hit a B. Wait, if I hit a B, do all the other Bs like try to attack me? How do B how does how does that work? I'm not sure how Bs work, guys. I don't I don't know. Um but we're, we're making our way. Making our way. Um I kinda wanna go up a little bit, so we need to uh, place it like that. Alright. Can we place torches? Torches? I can't jump, guys. This is actually kind of chill. Torches? Okay, torches, not bad. Alright. Break break that. Don't want to break the beehive. Without soap touch. We're going to bridge with honey blocks. Because that's, that's a good idea. I see that there's some spawners in the middle here. Let's try to, let's try to bridge to the middle. I do not want to use honey blocks to bridge you guys this. <laughs> but I'm, I didn't bring a lot of cobblestone. Let's just kind of place a torch in the middle there. All right. The enemy is lag. 
This was going on right now. All right. I think we can go down. Um, I don't recommend this because I don't have a good way of going back up. And also, I should probably claim that lava. But it's fine. Because you can't climb up the staircase here. Because it's all honey blocks, so you can't climb it up. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Um, oh, wait a minute. We can just do this. Oh, I'm a genius. We can just climb up the honeycomb. This is a situation where I wish I had more lava. Um, again, guys, lava is OP in CTM maps. Um, ooh, got some blocks on hand. That's good. I also kind of want to do this um, before nighttime hits because when nighttime hits, like, it's going to be really laggy because there's going to be a lot of mobs spawning. Um, but yes, let's... Uh, Let's try to make our way there and place a lava bucket to kind of clear out the stuff. Um, all right, do your thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. Okay. A food. Are the skeletons shooting me? I can't, I can't, no. Well, sometimes lava is good, right? But sometimes lava is not good. Because what can happen is you kill yourself. Death count six. There you go. I died again. Um, what could I have done? Bring another bucket with me, I suppose. Um, but I'm bringing a bed this time with me. So just in case it gets nighttime. And then the honey blocks are super troll. So let's try not to build with them. And we'll, we'll try to make it back to that place. Again, no, um, keep inventories on. So, uh, it's pretty good. Or it's pretty friendly that, uh, keep inventories on so that we, uh, we don't really need to worry about stocking back up and our levels are always intact. But yeah, maybe next time I'll bring a water bucket with me so that I can water myself after getting burned in lava. I was burned in lava and I probably could have survived that, right? But I kind of like stood in the line of fire of those skeletons. And of course I just died from like burning to death. But in actuality, it's because I probably should have um, uh, taken less damage from those skeletons. So definitely on me, um, played that poorly. There's mushrooms over there, you see that? There's a mushroom over there. But I do want to go ahead and um, place a bed down, hopefully. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep here just to be safe. And then we'll, we'll try to clear this. I think, um, I mean, this episode is getting a bit long, but I, th I do want to clear this out. I don't want to save this until next video. I want to try to clear this out here. And I think this is very interesting. Hopefully, you guys are, you guys are finding this interesting. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am finding this interesting. Oh, there's a spawn right here. Perfect. Don't know. The thing is, I don't know if they're bee spawners, or they're not bee spawners. All right. I have an idea. What if I just place the lava lower? That's probably a really good idea. I mean, <laughs> that that's a genius idea. I mean, I. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that earlier? Um, there's a spawner right there. Oh, don't want to break that. Okay, well, I'm down now. There's a spawner over there, so let's try to make our way over there. All this honey. Okay. Oh, there's, is this the entrance? This might be the entrance. Um... Oh, there's a chest over there. I can't place torches on these blocks. Okay. Do this. That spawner down. Okay, let's just jump in. Oh my gosh, it's all honey. <laughs> Alright. I think uh, we secured the beehive. I think we secured the beehive. 
and I am trapped. This is rubbish. <laughs> oh, there's zombies out here too. Oh, there's more things spawning. I'm afraid of getting hit by something. I hear zombies everywhere. All right, let's um, let's claim this chest. I, I don't see. That's a terrible, terrible loot in that chest. I don't see where the emerald block is. It's all the way up there. I'm not sure, and I cannot really pillar up with these blocks I have in my hand. So I need to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Ooh, it's dangerous out here. Okay. Okay. So yeah, let's try to make our way up. Pillar our way up here. We're gonna destroy, absolutely destroy this beehive. Um, yeah, pillar our way up. Oh, there's like more spawners in there. Um, I don't know if those are bee spawners or zombie spawners, but I'm done with the bottom floor. I'm done with the bottom floor, so it doesn't really matter, right? Um, yeah, let's just make our way, like, to the very top here. And see what's up on the top of the beehive. The, oh my gosh, these bees are gonna knock me off. Okay. Okay, we're at the top of the beehive. Anything in here? Nope. Oh, there's a creeper. Okay. Let's just go in. Are we just gonna go in? Very unsafe. There's a bee spawner. Ooh, Hunnix. Thought he gave us a diamond pickaxe. Interesting. Um. So I'm looking at this place and I'm not seeing, unless you guys are seeing it and I'm not seeing it, but I'm not seeing any, um, not seeing any, uh, any emerald blocks here. Oh no. Thought we were going to make Omega progress this video. I think that's a bee spawner. Thought we were going to make Omega progress this video, but it seems like we are not. We are just going to get that one emerald block. Conquer this beehive, get an iron, or get a diamond pick out of it, which honestly is pretty decent. I'm not gonna complain about getting an unbreaking three diamond pick. And, um, I'm honestly, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably just going to, um, use up this efficiency four pick, you know, use it whatever, do whatever I want with it. And then when it's almost broken, I'll probably combine it with the unbreaking three pick, with the unbreaking three pick, and I think that would be pretty good. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to go back and clear out my inventory because there's a bunch of junk in it. Um, but next time, uh, we are going to try to see what's up with this tree here. Also, the thing is, um, I'm like skipping all this area under me and there could be like buildings or like holes or like ditches under me so I, it might be relevant to go down and like actually explore the forest instead of just um scaling the tops of the tree but uh yeah we have this diamond tree here and then we have some stuff over here i just want to explore a little bit more before i go um we have some some weird things going on over here custom mushrooms and then we have this giant what is that wow look at this there's even spawners too all right i'm not gonna get too close then um so there's some mushroom area here there's this giant building here all right there's a lava moat around Alright, well, there's a lot going on here. 
so yeah next time we'll, we'll keep on exploring this area because it seems pretty big and yeah so yeah i mean that's that's kind of it <laughs> so thank you for watching and next time we will uh yeah keep on uh playing monument of aldrea so see you then <laughs>